Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. Breaking news this afternoon in Lowndes County. There wasn't a dry eye in the courtroom as a man charged with capital murder learns his fate. Judge Jim Kitchen sentenced Joshua Taylor to prison for the rest of his life without the possibility of parole. Let's join WCBI's Jory Talley, who's live at the Lowndes County Courthouse with more on today's sentencing. Jory. Renee, it was a very emotional courtroom this morning. William Stallings' mother faced her son's killer and told him that she forgave him. Josie Porter also told Judge Jim Kitchens that she did not want to see Taylor seek the death penalty. It was a very emotional day, and you know, the decision for having her to not want Taylor to seek the death penalty, she said that she wanted him not to because she wanted him to have a chance to turn his life around. Taylor faced Porter sobbing as he told her how sorry he was about what happened to her son. After hearing from both Taylor and Porter, Judge Jim Kitchens sentenced Taylor to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Again, it was a very emotional scene with a lot of tears from both families. Judge Jim Kitchens ordered that Taylor be immediately sent to the Mississippi Department of Corrections as he left the, the courtroom in handcuffs. Tonight on WCBI, join us to hear what District Attorney Scott Colon Taylor's attorney and William Stallings' mother has to say about today's sentencing. But for now, Jory Talley, WCBI News, back to the studio.